song set in 1962 in the backseat of a Chevy in some cornfields, you might just have a huge hit on your hands. Well, that's what happened to Bob Seger in 1974 when he sort of stumbled across writing Night Moves. Of course, the song became the title track for his Night Moves LP and really transformed him from a local celebrity to a national star. The song has a, a, some Canadian content here. And the song was recorded in Toronto at Nimbus 9 Studios by uh, Guess Who producer Jack Richardson. It used uh, Toronto musicians and Toronto backup vocalists. As the band, the Silver Bullet Band, had already left the recording studio to go back home when Bob Seger stumbled across the song. We're sure glad he did. Here's 1974, Bob Seger, working on those night moves. All right, Night Moves, what a great song. Let's talk first about the key we're gonna play it in, and I have to believe he was playing it with uh, G, F, C chords, which is what it calls for, with the capo on the first fret. Now that was when Bob Seeger was a young man. Um, I, I'm sure he capoed this. Then I watched some concerts from, oh, five years or so later, and off came the capo, and... Uh, That's where he was playing it. And then I watched some concerts from 2007, and he's playing it here. Which is really awkward because it involves an F major, an E flat, and a B minor. Um, but that's the key that he's able to sing it in now. Um, so we're going to go back to that second choice, get rid of the capo but drop it down a, a semitone from the original key. So we're going to learn it. Just nice and comfortable, easy open chords. And speaking of chords, here are the ones you need. There are more than you think. We're throwing in a few extra chords uh, for the final chord sequence that ends the song. So you need an open G chord. You need an F major an open C chord, and an open D chord. In terms of minor chords, you need an E minor, and then for the closing sequence of chords, you just need them once. You need an A minor, and a B minor bar chord. And finally, in the song, you need a G7 chord once, and the gorgeous C major 7, which, as I remind you, is easily played by just playing an open C chord and removing the index finger. Okay, so to review, open G, F major, open C, open D. An E minor, an A minor, a B minor, a G7, and a C major 7. And those are the chords you need for night moves. But let's begin by finding this rhythm, which is the rhythm that carries through most of the verses. And it, it uh, involves um, a G, quick change to an F major, and a C. You can see it shuttles back and forth from G to C with that quick, quick F major in the middle. Okay, so if we take a look at the right hand here, so strum, frap. And then an up down, another frap, and you can just use these up downs. You don't have to. Um, I mean, the alternative would be to. emphasize that F chord, 
you could strum down twice hard and kind of emphasize that. But if you want to keep it nice and fluid, notice I'm only using that, that muted frap technique on the G chord and the C chord. The F chord is played through. Let's put that to use and sing through a verse. Okay, so on this partial playthrough, we'll just play through uh, the intro twice. We'll play through that progression twice for the intro and then uh, sing through a verse just to give you an idea how lyrics fit in with, uh, with chording here. Here we go. Too tall, could eat a few pounds. Don pants, points, hollering now. She was a black haired beauty with big dark eyes. Points all around, should we wear high? Let's move on to what we'll affectionately call the cornfield verse. And in the cornfield verse, he introduces for the first time the E minor and uh, D chords, and uh, also the lyric working on our night moves. It's uh, is the second half of that verse. There's also a quick C major seven in here, so watch for that. And it here's the uh, progression for this verse. One. So the strumming pattern is just a little bit different with that uh, C. Basically what we're doing is shuttling from a C to an E minor with a quick D chord in between. So it's like this. <laughs> so. so let's take a closer look at the right hand and see how to play that strumming bit. transition is just that gentle just from a C to a C major 7 just lift off your index finger and then back into the the regular rhythm so let's do a playthrough with lyrics for that one two three I'm past the cornfields where the woods got heavy Out in the back seat of my 60 Chevy Working on mysteries without any clues Working on a night Next up is that bridge section, which is a little bit of alternate chording and also um, a little bit of a change of pace in the song. And this is coming off the second chorus, working on a night moves. We extend the summertime, summertime part a little bit, 
and and then we play through this bridge section. So let's take it from um, these that little change from the C, the transition C C major seven into the summertime summertime. So it's. So to follow through those chord changes again, uh, I'll call them out this time. And notice that we, we're building dynamics here at the very end of that before we get back into that really quiet section of the song. So we're going... C major 7, and then a G, and then a C major 7, and then an F major, building intensity, and then a D. And that takes us into that quiet section. Let's put some lyrics to this. solemn piece of the song and I have to tell you if you decide to perform this song for a group of people um, if you do this well and I don't profess to do it well but if you do it well uh, you will have them uh, you'll be able to hear a pin drop in the room and I think that's what Bob Seeger intended so I'll just go through this I'll put the chords on the screen for you and um, it's, it's very 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 nice here we go Woke last night to the sound of thunder How far off I sat and wondered Started on the tune from 1962 Ain't it funny how the night moves When you just don't seem to have as much to lose Strange how the night moves Without him closing in So that cool little transition riff that takes us back into the chorus is just is just hammer on the A string down to the second fret with your second finger and then pick the open D string okay so it's like this straight into the G chord and then we're back into a uh, 
a chorus that builds again towards the end of the song. Okay, I hope that gives you an idea of, of how you might try to perform that soft section to really grab your audience. Okay, we're almost done. I've given you almost all the pieces of the puzzle here. And the last little piece, you would almost think the song just fades out with the chorus, but he does go into some chording here at the end. Uh, and it features that uh, B minor chord and the A minor chord, which we don't use anywhere else in the song. And essentially, uh, this is optional. You don't have to do this section. But what he does do here is he goes from... progression once he leaves the the chorus rhythm this E minor E minor A minor C and that's how the song is, ends with him saying I remember I remember well I hope you remember to add this song to your repertoire, because uh, this is one where there's so much feel in, in, the, in the main pattern of the song. A lot of feel there, and when you take it down, as I said earlier in the lesson, and you bring it down and bring it back, throw in a major seven chord, do some soulful singing, you're, the audience is going to love this one. Your audience is going to love this one. Bob Seeger, and not the Silver Bullet Band for this one, but a group of Toronto musicians. Night Moves. What a wonderful song. We'll see you next time on Song Mentor.